Really excited to be joined right now by both Fernandez sisters, Layla Annie and Bianca Jolie, for a chat with Matchpoint Canada about their first WTA event together as doubles partners. I know our listeners are going to be thrilled to have you back again with us, Layla Annie and Bianca Jolie. Happy to welcome you to the podcast for the first time today. Yeah, thank you so much for having us again. Um, well, having me again. I'm super pumped to be talking to you, and I'm sure Bianca, she's excited to be here too. How are you? <laughs> oh, two questions. Yes, I am very happy to be the, here on my very first WTA tournament. It was, it was an amazing experience, and I love playing with my sister. I can just sit back and let the two of you ask each other questions if you like. That was great, Leila <laughs> Annie. Uh, hey, you two have played doubles together many times before, um, a bunch of ITF events in recent years, but this is the first WTA event. And so, uh, Bianca Jolie, I'll ask you first, what's it mean to share this moment with your sister? And was this any different from previous times that you guys have shared the court together, being that it's a WTA event? Um, well, it was very special to play with my sister because she always talked about it when we were young, saying, oh my God, we're going to play doubles together. When we're in the WTA, we're going to be pros together. And I always thought about it, but I would never show, showed the same enthusiasm. <laughs> but um, And playing doubles with her didn't change much. We just know each other so well. Maybe we're, we were a bit rusty since we're in different tournaments. So, but once we settled in, as you can see, we both started communicating better, playing better together, and it started flowing. Unfortunately, it was a little too too late, but the next opportunity that we have, we're not going to be rusty and we're going to play great. Leila, Annie, you've told me on several occasions that your sister is the player you'd most like to play doubles with, which uh, struck me as something pretty special. What, what kind of relationship do the two of you share? Because I don't think every sibling uh, duo out there would would get along well on the court as well. So... There must be something behind it for you two that, that clicks. Um, you know, when we were younger, we we played doubles together, just provincial tournaments, and we were fighting practically every single point, which was hilarious because we were playing so well. We were just not communicating well. We were, like, fighting, bickering. My parents weren't happy about that. It's like, if you could just change your attitude. And then I think when I first started traveling a little bit more, we, uh, we both understood the importance of being positive towards one another, being happy for each other, just loving each other, loving our journey. And uh, every time that we're on court together, playing together, um, playing doubles together, that's what we try to do, enjoy our moment because we don't know if that's going to happen again. And, we're just very, very happy to have this opportunity. And I was able to play with my younger sister because it's something that I've always dreamt about. And uh, this tournament has been incredible up to now. And I'm super, super happy to, to share this experience with, with Bianca. I'm going to share that answer with my kids who sometimes uh, drive each other and me and my wife crazy. So that sounds really nice that you do get to a point where things kind of uh, become a little bit more uh, easygoing, I guess. I'll ask you both this question. Um, Bianca, Julie, let's start with you. Do you think that a Fernandez sister partnership is something that you guys would prioritize if you find yourselves at the same WTA events more often in the future? Of course. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a short answer. No hesitation there. <laughs> I love it because, you know, no, we, we both want to play together practically every, every single time. Every, every tournament we've always like talked about, oh, if we would have been like in the same city or same tournament, let's, let's just like play together. Let's just have fun. Let's, uh, let's have that experience, uh, have, that, have that in our memory bank. And, you know, it's not, it's not every day where both sisters can be on the same court playing the same sport that they love and uh, just enjoying the moment. So we, that's what we want. And that's what we want to do every, every time. I'm going to ask Bianca Julie another question, but I'm a little afraid of the sass here. So uh, hold on, let's see how I phrase this. What, what's it like getting to play in a, in a WTA event for you as you're just at the start of your pro career? Uh, how special has it been this week uh, being there among the, the pros? I felt very special. <laughs> it's not like ITFs. It's there's more convenience you get the courts you get everything so everything was well it was much easier and I it felt they made me feel special and the whole place was special um I love the the part where it's faster it's less 
um, less backed up. Everything's faster, everything's stronger. So yeah, I didn't keep up as much, but it's such a great first experience because now I know and I know what to improve. And um, when I come back, because I will, um, I won't come out on, I will come out on top. That's all. I love the confidence. That sounds familiar. I think I've heard that somewhere before. I think that's a trait both of you probably share. Um, my sister and I are less than two years apart, and uh, we spent a lot of time together growing up, both getting along and pushing each other's uh, buttons, so to speak, getting on each other's nerves. Are, are you two good at pushing each other's buttons as well? And, and, and in what ways do you sort of do that? Oh, all the time. Every no. second of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm I'm very very positive and loving, and she's more the sass and sarcastic. I don't know if you've noticed with this mini interaction, but very quickly, yes. <laughs> so sometimes, like the one way, like I push her buttons is just like being close to her. Like I don't say anything. I'm just there in her bubble, and just basically like looking what she's doing, asking her like, "What are you doing? Can I join?" Just being annoying like that, and. Her, I have no idea how she pushes my button, but she does it like very, 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 very well. What do you do? It's not really a strategy. It's not really like, oh, I'm going to annoy Layla. It's more like I, I notice some things and I like to like point it out. <laughs> it's just me stating facts <laughs> and just go after you about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the imperfections and you know I like perfection. So you go for the imperfection. Thank yeah. You. And you and you know that I like my personal space, but uh, here you are. <laughs> I'm loving this dynamic. I think all future Fernandez interviews have to involve both of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. A more serious question. Uh, is it tough for your father to coach both of you at the same time? And And I would guess it must be challenging also for both of you not to see each other much throughout the tennis season as you're playing different tournaments, different events across the globe. Oh, yes, it's definitely very, very hard for him. Uh, you know, we are two completely different players, two completely different persons. So he tries to change his personality, change his ways of training to help both of us achieve our dreams. So, you know, he has to plan to, he has to plan for my tournaments, my training, and then he also has to plan for her tournaments and her training. To, to accommodate where she's at, what she needs to improve, and to accommodate what I need to improve. The only good thing is that we're both sisters and we both understand the struggle, so we're not pushing him to do any decisions in choosing between one or the other, and we just want the best for, for one another. So I just, when he's traveling with my younger sister and not with me, I totally understand that. And I'm actually happy that he's made that decision and that he's trusting me to do what I need to do. And then he's also there teaching Bianca the ropes the same way that he's been teaching me for the course of the year. And, you know, we just, we just have like that kind of in our brain that no matter what happens, we're still sisters. He's still our dad. We're a family and that they'll, anything that happens on court stays on court outside the court it's 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 where all the fun happens <laughs> hey just to wrap up i wanted to ask you uh, bianca jolie what are your plans for 2022 in terms of trying to get into the wta events and Layla annie as well on on your side of things it's a little bit more structured i guess at this point um is there a chance we see you playing billy jean king cup in vancouver in april well what are your plans, Bianca? My plans is just to climb up as much as I can the ranks. Um, I'm not really looking to win tournaments. I just want to get accumulate points, get my ranking up, get more opportunities to play the OVTA events. Um, and for a Billie Jean King Cup, now that is up to the captains. <laughs> if they want me, I'll be there. <laughs> I hope you love it. <laughs> um, well, for me this season, I'm just planning to to be consistent on every tournament, uh, hopefully be top 10 by the end of this season and play the, the WTA finals. The, the, those are my goals for, for this season. And um, just have fun. Like, like I've said every year, the number one thing is the mind, the body and the emotions. And I just want that to be at 100% throughout the year. And on court, I'm always gonna have fun. 
Well, yeah. it's been, it's been, sorry, go ahead. You were going to finish no, off. No, no. no, I think I'm done. I was going to repeat it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's been great having both of you. Leila Annie has the uh, all-time record for appearances on Matchpoint Canada, actually. Uh, so great to have you back on with us again. And uh, Bianca Jolie, you'll have to do some catching up, but great to have you on for the first time and, and all the best moving forward uh, with your young career. Thank you so much, Mike. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. See you.